tonight. Hey, Chef. Chef Ramsay heads to Arizona and visits one of the cleanest restaurants in Kitchen Nightmares history. Is this a joke? But soon after meeting the husband and wife team, Sammy and Amy, he uncovers a number of problems. You motherfuckers, you all think that you can come in here and say these things. Oh my God. Sammy, who runs the front of the house, is completely disorganized. I can't, I can't, I cannot work, I can't. Amy runs the kitchen, but refuses to listen to anyone. These are store-bought crap frozen ravioli. They're not crap, and they're delicious. Oh. It's not surprising that there is such a high turnover of staff. Katie, I quit. And at this restaurant, the customer is never right. You fuck yourself! Go, you motherfucker! Get ready to witness a colossal uphill battle. If you touch it, I fucking, you go. As Chef Ramsay faces off against two defiant owners. Pizza is undercooked. That's not true. This may be the one restaurant. I don't even know why we came back here. I'm going home. Now you're going home? That Chef Ramsay has no choice but to walk away. I am finished. All my stuff is going back where it belongs, and that's it. What is that? You're serving rotten food. We could possibly kill them. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> Shut the place down. Get out of here! That is amazing. Thank you, Chef. Scottsdale, Arizona, an upscale Phoenix suburb. It's also home to Amy's Baking Company, opened in 2006 by husband and wife team, Sammy and Amy Buzaglo. It was at a very early age that I discovered I had a real, true passion and talent for anything having to do with the culinary arts. Just give me the per salad, darling, if you can. All right, all right. So in 2006, Sammy invested over a million dollars into this restaurant to make my dream come true. Can I open? Yalla! We are ready. Come okay. on, guys. But we're in the restaurant business. It's not all daisies and ponies and unicorns. I understand this whole substitution thing. Approximately two years ago, these reviewers and these bloggers decided to make up lies and say that they ate the food and it was disgusting. Son of a bitch. And we lost a tremendous amount of business because of it. They're just fucking haters. It's really just anything good. I'll take it. There's a lot of things that are wrong with the food that she just doesn't realize. Too garlicky, too buttery, too sweet, not cooked enough, too overdone. That doesn't work for me either. <laughs> If someone has criticism, Sammy tells them, you don't know what the food is supposed to taste like. Even you don't know what is wrong with it. If anyone tell me that my wife's food is no good, I just tell them to leave the restaurant. I don't want them and don't come back. Is your first time? Last time. And last time, don't come back, madam. Not only do they lash out and swear at customers. I will go tell them to fuck off if my husband doesn't. But they take it one step further and retaliate against them. I hope he eats it. And I just made it really spicy for him. I hope it hurts him. The customer is not always right. Choose another pizza or nothing. And I'm not here to take shit from anybody. I'm not going to have people make shit up that isn't true. I'm not doing it. Don't I'm, worry. I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not making any more food. Amy's nuts. I am going to really hurt somebody if they send back my cake. One second, she's like a nice little care bear. Thank you so much. I love you. You're such a good girl. And the next second, she's like Corella DeVille. I'm stopping all the food. No, no, I'm not, wait, no, no, I'm not, I'm not making anything else. No, why? It has to go to the freaking trash. Are you kidding me right now? And unfortunately, the majority of the people in Arizona think that if you come to our restaurant, that we're going to yell at you, scream at you, and throw you outside. And that is not who we are. Go and yell at, keep walking, mister. You just keep walking. Chef Ramsay is coming to tell the people how the food is good here. You can go, madam. Don't come back, madam. I'd be happy not to see you here. Thank you. I think Chef Ramsay is going to be wasting his time. You can't change Sammy and Amy. They're lost cause. Anything goes dirty, change it. We are ready. Come okay. On, guys. Good evening. Do you guys know what you want? Three cheese and tomato sauce. All right. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Miranda may be the only server on staff. I can't do the computer, so he's the only one that has control over that. But she is not allowed to input orders, pour wine, or handle money. The ravioli, and then they want yeah, the pizza I after. I know what it is. The only one who can do that is Sammy. OK, OK, just move, 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 I know. Sammy thinks that he's doing everything all by himself. For C. But Sammy doesn't realize 
he's actually messing everything up. I need another wine. I cannot work, I cannot, I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot work, I can't. Sammy. Look all the orders I have. What do you want? Nothing. Go, go, go to the kitchen. La, 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 la. He had like 30 tickets in his hand, I think. With Amy only cooking one ticket at a time. We're not making any of this until I get to that ticket. The diners are in for a long wait. I've never waited this long for a long pizza. But the one table that has received their food is unsatisfied. What is the problem with it? Like the Caesar, it is, I don't know. Even you don't know? What is wrong with it? Yeah, the egg is... OK. If you came to eat to enjoy, then you should know what you like to eat, sir. Apparently, you don't know what you like to eat. I guess not. <laughs> OK, Amy. What? Can you make me pear salad instead of that Caesar? Seriously? Don't worry. I told them to fuck off. He's like all in the back, like yelling. Maybe they don't understand it doesn't come from a can. Are you kidding me right now? So sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> kind of doughy. What? They say it's not cooked enough. To be. To be? OK, Amy. What? Two pieces is not cooked enough. Put it again in the, in the, in the oven. Sure, I'll burn it okay, for them. OK, this is not cooked enough. The food we're making is going straight to the trash. And there are starving people that could be eating it. But instead, these people decide that they're going to come fuck with my life. Uh, we waited like an hour and a half. We never I got know. pizza. We never got You guys are full of shit. Yeah, I tell her not to do it. Never got our pizza. I never got this. My fucking ass. Stop the red pepper ravioli and stop the, it's ready. the big. Sammy. Stop it. They're leaving. I don't care. I am not going to do this. Stop it. Fuck them. Stop what? It's in the stop. oven. We're ready to go. It's coming now. It's coming now. Now. You keep saying that. You've been saying that for an hour. Look at him. He's like, where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Send him home. Yeah, you have a pizza. It's coming. You want to wait? You wait. You don't want to pay what you have, and you fuck off from here. Do you understand? Sammy? Do you understand? Off? You fuck yourself. Go out, you motherfucker. Are you fucking kidding me? No, no, no. Don't speak like this. Go out. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I fucking call fuck you. Sammy, call the police. It's not my police. Call the police. I'll fuck you. Pay and go. Call the police. Stop. Stop. You have drinks. Are they for real? What is it me? I'm in the office. Don't call the police. You crazy? Where's the pizza? It's in the oven. He can suck it. You pay. You don't go out. You, if you touch up, I fucking, you oh come God. from here, I told you. You go. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, I'm kidding. I'm fuck you. No kidding you. I fuck you. Call out. the police. Pay I the call... money. No, I want the money from him. I am calling the police. You guys are fucking No, crazy. he's just calling the police. I know, but hey, you're not touching him. Get away. Motherfucker, you, motherfucker. you are. Fuck a piece you of piece shit. You piece of shit. You are a little pansy. Amy. Get out of here. Don't you yeah. ever come back here. You little weenie. Keep walking. Fuck you. Give me a break. This is, you guys, I make excellent food. You motherfuckers, you all, think that you can come in here and say these things. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this. With very little knowledge of the previous night's dinner service, Amy's Baking Company. Chef Ramsay arrives looking to find out why Amy's Baking Company needs his help. I love desserts. Hey, Hello. Chef. How are you? How are you doing? Nice to see you. First name is? Sammy. Sammy, good I'm to the see you. owner. You're Thank the owner. you. Yes. Wow. Oh, look at that. Come on. My wife, Amy, yeah. Uh, can I meet this lady? Yes, no. Please? Yeah. Amy? Yes? Gordon Ramsay wants to meet you. He wants to know who is the chef of who does all this beautiful love. Uh, come around, please. Hi. Come around, my darling. So nice to meet you. I'll give him a hug. Uh, <laughs> did you make them? Yes, I did. Uh, yeah. Incredible. It's nice, nice to meet you. you. Likewise. Uh, good to you. see you. I mean, they're extraordinary. Thank you. That's very nice. It um, means a lot coming from you. Any of that store bought? No. The restaurant is beautiful. Thank you. And I want you to see my kitchen after or before right. if you want, and then you tell me about our kitchen also. Right. Show me the kitchen. OK. Thank you, please. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Mean. Okay. Thank you. You got me excited. Sorry. Of course. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Okay. Please. Thank you. Oh, my god. OK. And who's the head chef? I am. I'm... Yo, hold on. Stop, stop. <laughs> Holy crap, you got lucky. <laughs> I'm the lucky one. He is my but, soulmate, and we're in this business together. Fine, and we well, stand uh, strong together. We have to because there's a lot of online bullies and haters and bloggers. We stand up to them, and I think we're the only ones that ever have as restaurant owners. And they come, and they try to attack us and say horrible what? things that are not true. Because they're, they're used to eating processed wood chips uh, or used to getting things for free uh, and not from us. OK. Um, Let's catch up with the haters and that stuff. After you. Uh, can I have a quick look in the kitchen? Of course. Uh, normally, uh, owners don't like it when I expect kitchens, but the floor's shiny. It's like oh. a basketball court. Come, it's come see. If you're oh not, my goodness you me. want the jacket? No, you it's don't like need a, it. You don't need it. It's like a doctor's surgery in here. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank Bloody you. Thank hell. you for saying the truth. Oh, my goodness me. Is what? this a joke? I mean, look, dates, labels, yes, everything, sectioned yeah. off. Wow, what a pleasure.
Hello. This is Miranda. This is Miranda. She's Miranda. going to Hi. serve you. Nice to see you. Hi. And this nice is. Nice to meet you, I'm Katie. Katie. This is Christine. She's my Christine, wingman. Come over, darling. <laughs> Are you the sous chef? She is. Let's go through the dining room. Okay. The restaurant itself is very clean and nice, but it's Amy and Sammy that are the problem. Do not judge a book by its cover. So, take me back to the beginning. How long have we been married? Almost 10 years. Oh, yes, no, we right. got married five months after we met. Wow. Well, I prayed for him, and God sent him to me, and I wasn't going to waste any time. <laughs> she said, forget you, you Sammy Hafner, enough. <laughs> He was a playboy I, in she Vegas. Me, yeah. You were a playboy in Vegas. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. He was. Seriously. He was, even Hugh Hefner didn't have as beautiful of women as we did. All the playmates would come to our table. He was a player. But with me, it didn't work like that. I am individual or nothing at Once all. Once we got married, that's that was it. everything out. Wow. So, um, were you trained in the industry? No, not at no? all. I'm a so developer. I build, I build custom houses. Oh. But when the crisis started, I said, I still have money. What do you want me to do with it? She begged me. She said, my dream, it was to open a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I just, throughout my life, had a passion and a God-given talent for it. And this is all I want to do. That's lovely. Thank you. And the ganache as well. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. Oh, God. I'm the only one that makes them. And if I'm not here working, we're not open. Say that again. If I, if, if I am not here, if we're my husband's not here, sick, we're not open. The the we don't run without each other here. You're kidding me. No. That's no way to run a business. We can't find qualified people to work. They want to come and get a paycheck and tried. not work. In Arizona? They're not good. They're not good. Right. I tried a lot of that. This is we my know that. biggest worry. This is my biggest problem in my life. But I cannot find people. I can count on them. I can trust no, them. They're no dirty. Them. They're lazy. They're How many people have you been through? A lot. A few hundred. A lot. <laughs> a few hundred? Yeah. yeah. So other than an issue with staff, what's wrong with this bloody restaurant? I have issues with customers that are trying to be online bullies and say horrible things. Online bullies? They're online bullies and write things that are not true. They write that it's I have store-bought dough. They write that things are frozen. I understand that, but those things are not true. But when did this start? Two and a half years ago. This guy came in that started this entire online bullying. He ordered pizza yeah. margarita. And after I say, okay, how is your pizza? He say, it's a frozen pizza. The next day he went and gave us a review. Oh my God. My wife, she was... Well, retaliated. You wrote back to him? Oh, yeah. Right. Well, Why? She, I told him. I thought he was a loser. He was a moron. No, I didn't take you. him. Tell I understand. Me. He insulted yeah, me first, and I attacked back. I'm not going to let anybody bully me, bully my husband. That's a joke. You need thick skin in this business. Well, what they called the they called me Crazy Amy B because I stood up to Do them, and like... I need people who respect you, who know that you have earned your stripes in the kitchen and in life. I need them to listen to you and not the online bullies and take your word that you're saying that our food is good. Amy, if all your food is as good you as it's deserved, food, trust yeah, me, good. there's something not quite right here. Thank you. We are you a it. control freak? I am. Is we are Amy, Amy worse. What a combination. We have to clone us. Clone us. Is that possible? It is, some places <laughs> I've heard. Right. Do you have children? Well, we have three little boys, but they're trapped inside wow. cat bodies. Yeah. Yeah, they're cats. Our babies are cats. They're my whole life, besides my husband and my business. I speak feline. Meow, 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 meow. Meeting you two for the first time, you are both fucking nuts. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have a little sample of the menu. OK. Do your thing normally. I will. Hello. How are you, my darling? Good. Is it just you and Sammy in the front of the house? It's pretty much just me. And how long have you been here? A month and a half. Good tips? I don't make tips. Say that again? I make hourly. Serious? You must be the only server in this country... I know. ...that doesn't get tipped out. So where do the tips go? The owner. What? Yeah. I can't believe that. I know. I try to tell him. <laughs> wow. OK, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Sammy. You spoke earlier about the problem with staff. Yeah, I just found out something pretty major. Miranda, the young girl? Yeah. You don't give her her tips? No. Sammy, yeah. you cannot take server's tips. Then bring me the people who's going to do their job, and I don't have to interfere. They can take the whole tips for them. Did you see? I already took three orders by myself and sent them already to the... You're the owner. I'm doing the most of the job. Wow. 
I'm ready to order. OK, I'll take Thank your you. order. Do you know already what you like yes, to start? Yes, I do, yes. Yeah. The fig and pear prosciutto pizza, Excellent. please. Excellent. Yeah. And then I'm going to go for a blue ribbon burger. Medium rare. Medium rare. Excellent. Please. And I'll take the salmon burger as well at the same time. And then I'll fancy some gnocchi. Got all the pasta's homemade, right? It is, but uh, not the gnocchi today. It, oh. It's not homemade. We didn't oh. have time to make them. OK. Uh, I'll go straight to the ravioli. OK, which one do you like? The, the red pepper. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. The story is becoming a little clearer. OK, Amy. Yeah. This is the chef's order. Oh, God, OK. I believe that once Chef Ramsay tastes my food, as a chef, he'll be able to tell that this is what God wants me to do. What's that fucking doorbell? It keeps on going off every two minutes. Miranda. What is that doorbell on the side of the wall for? <laughs> Whenever we have dirty dishes, we ring it, and then the busser comes and grabs the dishes from there. Why would you walk around and put the plates in the pot wash? The first time in my career, a pot washer has a doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ding dong. The large or the small? Small. White three cheese pizza. Ah, the cheese pizza. Sammy. Yeah. Does, does Miranda use the POS system? No, she does not yet. Nobody's. I'm the only one who uses it. Yeah. But the quicker you teach her, the quicker you can take her back and no, seat. I, I will teach her when you come the time. I will teach her. Miranda, have you ever worked on a POS system? Yes, at every job that I've worked at. Every job. And how many jobs have you had before you worked at ABC? A lot. A lot. She doesn't need training. She knows how to do it. Thank you. Oh, it's for Yes. Thank you. I'll get you a plate. The fig and pear and prosciutto pizza. Well, the crust is supposed to be good, but it's not that crusty. It's very, very sweet. And my dough's raw. After all this weight. Wow. That is so sweet. But that's not the issue. The issue is the dough is raw. It's just, I feel it. It's raw. It's doughy. I don't know how we come out today like this, well, but normally they love that pizza. It's really, well, really lovely. I'm telling you what I'm getting, and it's raw, soggy and wet, and too sweet in general. We'll take that off. You take it back to Amy, please. Of course, yes. Thank you. Oh, my God, I don't think you liked it. What's wrong? Nothing. I feel like Sammy sugarcoats a lot of what happens in the restaurant, so Amy gets this feeling that, like, everything she's doing is correct, everything's right. Don't worry, don't worry, everything is OK. I'm not worried. I'm afraid he's going to say something isn't good. I know my wife. She doesn't take the criticism. She will be shaking, and then she say, that's it, I'm leaving. Just, I'll tell you all about it after. After, just relax and do like you do normally. Just do it. Oh, my god, I'm going to freak out. Jeff Ramsey has been sitting at the table for well over an hour. I think it's raw. And so far, all that he has sampled is an undercooked pizza. I don't even tell her you did like the, uh, the pizza. You didn't even tell her the dough Not was... yet. I know my wife, she's, she'll get nervous. You're scared and of telling her the truth? Do you want to tell her? Come with me, you tell her. I just want her to know, so she checks okay, the next she one. she will know, yes, she will know. Uh, anyway, I am 75 minutes in, and so far, I've had an undercooked pizza. I know you've been waiting. I'm going to start eating my ticket. Oh, OK. I'm going to tell her you're starving. I'm oh. going to tell her you are starving. OK. She'll move, OK? She'll move. She, I hope oh. so. You know where that goes. Mm -hmm. Yes? OK. Thank you. Wow. Blue cheese, mushrooms, marinated, garlic aioli, white truffle oil, and crispy bacon bits, and a soggy bun that's just full of grease. Jesus, come on. I have a lot of nerve calling this a blue ribbon burger. Well, medium rare, it's not. Ooh. Overcomplicated, so unnecessary. And look, that is one shit burger. Oh, it's a disaster. Yeah, the bun. What a mess. Okay, so, yeah, so I'll take um, this back. Uh, really disappointing. I am starving. 
I got it. Thank you. This is for him? Yes, red pepper ravioli. Thank you. Red pepper ravioli. There you go. <laughs> How's the uh, salmon burger doing? I'll go check on that. Thank you. He wants to know how long in the salmon burger? It's on its way. Okay. We're in the, you don't need to keep reminding us. We know, okay? I was just saying. I know, yes. but you don't need to come tell us. We know that it needs to go out. Oh, my God. It smells weird. Oh, here's my salmon burger. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. Oh, God. Sweet, spicy. be one of the most confused ravioli dishes I've ever seen and tasted in my entire life. Wow. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, huh? Sweet and spicy. Yeah. Ravioli with bacon and sweet corn, topped with cilantro. Are these store-bought? Yes, the ravioli, yes. He told me that this yes. was store-bought, then I wouldn't ah. have ordered it. Ah, OK. I didn't tell you, no, no. I didn't tell you that. Thank you. Look at this thing here. This is what I've been waiting for. So it's like a salmon cake, crab cake, burger. It's overcooked. I mean, it's, it's not good. Although it may be good for those three boys, three cats at home. Do you want me to take that? Please, <laughs> because it is like eating dry cat food. Do you want to take a sample? No, I really um, don't. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> is, um, is, is, is Amy there? Yeah. Do you want to go into the kitchen? Uh, you you know, no, she shouldn't come out now. Okay, I'll tell her. Just a quick. Amy? Yes? That was a lot longer than I expected, and, you know, there were some big bumps in that meal. Um, what kind of bumps? What didn't you like? Let's go through it later. OK. OK, I'm going to go get changed. OK. And I want to see how this place functions. And then after service, cover all the points. You look disappointed. I am disappointed. OK. But let's go through this later. OK. Yeah? Of OK. Course, yeah. Sure. This Thank is you. what you are here. Yes. OK. Thank you. Thank you. That's for you. Oh, thank you. You only. Thank you. Fuck me. OK. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not worried. Never, never mind. Jane. You do. And you do what you do. Do you understand? Just do what you but do. I'm concerned with his opinion. He loves I know. the desert. I understand. Please do me a favor. You can. They are good. OK, listen. We're going to start to get ready, you guys. We're going to open. How does the line work? Who does what? Christine does mostly the salads, and I do the pizzas. I have people tell me it's the best pizza that they've ever had in wow. their life. My pizza today was undercooked, so it was raw, and I said, will you take that back? He said, I can't talk to her in service. Why is that? You're a husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as if you're sort of manager and assistant manager. So why can't you go and tell your wife? Because Sweetheart, I, I know my pizza, wife. Pizza, fucking yeah. wake up, is undercooked. I don't think your pizza was undercooked. I checked it when I took it out of the oven, just like I do every other pizza. And to me, it was crispy on the bottom. When I cut it, right. it was crunchy. Okay. So to me, it wasn't okay, wrong. Okay, so that's your version, because you sure. didn't see it come back. However, the bun for the beef burger was soggy as anything. Blue cheese, marinated mushrooms, crispy bacon bits, white truffle oil. Who comes up with those ideas? I did. Because there's certain things that don't go together, and that's four of them. Chef Ramsay is standing there riding my ass about white truffle oil and garlic aioli. Oh, my God. Like, he's never heard of any flavor profile in the world as disgusting. I have never had a problem with that hamburger, ever. Because your husband doesn't tell you. And the, the salmon burger was like a salmon fish cake in between a dry bun. But it was a dry bun or it was a soggy bun? That oh. was dry. Dry pate, dry. It's good like that. We have people tell us all the time there that you it's go again. good. There's no point in me saying anything to you because you just say, well, it's good like that. Whatever. The uh, raviolis, do you cook them from frozen? Yes, we do. Do you know how you can make these better? 
What? Yes, I can make them from scratch. No, of take them I off. Can. Oh, yes, of course. Why don't I just well, delete everything from my the... menu? I'm just and to then say... close my doors. What do you want me to sell? These are store bought I crap understand. frozen ravioli. They're not crap, and they're delicious. And I, the oh. first time I've ever. Oh okay. my God. Did you taste it? You didn't taste that one. I didn't because you didn't get the feedback. I said they were disgusting. People usually love it. I've never had a problem with People it, but. People usually love it. Yes, real customers, not haters. Oh, come on, Amy. Raviolis that are in the freezer. Oh my God, sacrilegious. Ladies and gentlemen, two seconds, please. The owner is trying to pull the wool over your eyes by offering you frozen raviolis that aren't even made within 500 miles of this front door. So would you mind, personally, if I 86 them to stop you from eating crab? Oh, no, that's right. So we'll 86 ravioli. OK. I have too much respect for your customers yes. yeah. to bullshit them. Now, will you tell your wife, or shall I? It's dinner service, and Amy continues to deflect everything. The owner is trying to pull the wool over your eyes by offering you frozen raviolis. So to make his point, Chef Ramsay decides to do a little research with the customers. Would you mind if I 86 them? That's right, no, that's right. Are you going to tell your wife or shall I? I will tell her. Thank you. OK, listen. Yeah. No more raviolis No more today. raviolis yeah. and no more hamburgers and no more salmon burgers. People yes. can only have cakes tonight. OK. OK? I'm good with that. Complete bullshit. She can't take criticism. Why is um, that? Yeah. Ask her that question. Ask her? I have the same problem for that. Are we used to waiting on something? Is yeah. That, what is it that you're waiting on? Pasta. Yeah. Spicy pasta. The pasta resica? Yes. Is that coming? Can you look on B4 and see what else they had? They should have uh, pasta resica. Is... No, I don't have it. You didn't give it to me. Sammy. Yeah. Sammy, I did write it down for you. Oh, it was here? It's right there. What is it? Pasta rustica. I see you did here. It's OK. 4B. No, no, 5B. Are you sure? You don't need to question me, Katie. You can go okay. home right now. I'm sorry. Sammy? Yes, darling. I would appreciate it if you would send Katie home right no. now. No, 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 I don't no, need an okay. attitude from her. She comes no, no, in, she it's said, okay. it's because there's the two others. No, oh, my God. Today. Am I sure? What a little shit. Amy. I'm I not going to talk to you right now, because I have to concentrate well, then, on the line. Stop. Concentrate, then. I will. There's no point in talking to you. Thank you. Well, You're welcome. Okay. And the pizza? Food is leaving the kitchen at a snail's pace. And it doesn't appear to be worth the wait. You can take this back, too. <laughs> you didn't like it? Not good. OK. When food's not eaten, do they tell you? No. Every single time a customer doesn't lick their plate, the waitress doesn't come to tell me that. Amy, no one's licking that. Just ignore him. I am ignoring everything that's happening. Stop. Thank you, Amy. Excuse me. So. That just comes back from the table, and it goes straight into the pot wash. They, they didn't like it. So if they didn't like it, what are we going to do about it? Let's wait. We finish today. The then kitchen I'll... needs to know. OK. Then I'm going to tell her. Thank you. OK. Amy, this is the summon. They didn't like it. For me, this is all bullshit, so I, I don't I, care. I, I... None of you have known about this, because the young girl Maria grabbed the plate and was about to throw it away. That's a common thread in this restaurant. There's no point in me speaking, so wow. I'm just going to work. It's like one long nightmare. Wow, $10 tip. Yeah. That's nice for you. Of course, yeah. Why not? Do you think the girls deserve some tips tonight? No, they get hourly. And so do you think if I went and asked every customer when they leave a tip yeah. that it goes straight to the owner and not to the server, mm -hmm. do you think they'd be astounded? Let me ask that table there. Sir, the tip that you left, the young lady server, the owner takes the tips. That's horrible. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't no, no, fuck no. with me. Yeah, I will fuck with you. Yeah. Who the fuck you think you are? Oh my God, Sammy's going to hurt him. I'm fed up. I'm getting sick and tired of your bullshit. Like well, then fucking I answer the my question. Then Come fucking on. answer my question. Tell the customers they're going to get yeah. their tips. No, they don't. They should be told that you're taking them yeah. because this servers deserve yeah. them. You want to speak with me? Yeah, I want you to speak want with to you. fuck with me? I will fuck I don't with want to you. Fuck with you. Then I will fuck I with you. Fuck. Oh my god, what a joke. Is everybody got this food? Yeah, we're closed. We're closing the kitchen. I think Katie, you can go. For sure. I'm talking to you, Katie. Okay. Katie! 
Listen to me when I'm speaking to you. Do not walk away from me. You don't work here anymore, okay? Don't start crying. Don't why why no, are you behaving like this? Oh my God! Come on. Since no, I'm don't, talking, don't, I don't wasn't doing anything. Katie, I, I wasn't doing anything. You've had an attitude with me all night long, Katie. Okay, please. Okay, I quit. No, you're not. Quit. She is quitting. She has an attitude. She comes to the kitchen tonight. She's like, I set a table. She said, Are you sure? Are you my boss? It's okay. It's okay. Katie, please. Go on. No, 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 come on. She doesn't work here anymore. She's a poisonous little viper, and I don't allow people to have an attitude in my restaurant. What does she know? Who the hell is she? She is gone. That's who she is. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Tonight, Chef Ramsay witnessed how dysfunctional Amy and Sammy are at running their business. Katie, you do not work here anymore, OK? Including firing Katie for simply asking a question. Now, you've just fired a young girl. Mm -hmm. But just take a big, deep breath and see if we can get some form of resolution here. OK. Believe it or not, my intentions are good. You're shaking your head already. I'm listening. It's become evident that you can't take criticism. Why is that? Are you seriously asking me why I'm so yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, I am. You don't have to cry here. I'm I don't want you to cry. Going... You don't have to cry. I'm not going to cry, Sammy. Okay, just cry. I'm trying to speak and it's take quiet. out my He's a, a conversation. Okay. No one lets me speak, ever. Not nobody. Oh my God! You know, Let me talk. I know that, but you're not listening to me. I know. What you, I listen to you. We listen to you. I'm what, trying we, to. I he asked me a exactly question. What I, know. what I do normally is good. I don't have people sending things back to me. You the, don't the know, training, Amy. You're saying that you training. don't know because food comes back. It goes straight to the dishwasher. That's what the whole issue is. You've been avoiding everything. Behind your back are the most amazing desserts. And in your freezer is store-bought shit raviolis that you're never going to convince me or a customer that they're good. The sauce is delicious. The raviolis, we think that they're very good. What I'm struggling with is that you convince yourselves that it's right. It's not. Tomorrow, I want you open-minded, OK? You as well, Sammy. I don't make promises that I know I can't keep. I'm going to do everything within myself to try. All you're getting from me is the truth. Right now, that's what you need. Good night. Good night. Yeah. After one of the most difficult days he has ever had on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay has arrived with a plan to start turning around Amy's Baking Company. Oh, come on. But with Amy and Sammy not at the restaurant, he takes the time to meet with former staff members that have reached out to him. Morning. Morning. Hello. How are you both? Good. Jessica, right? Yes, nice Good to, to see you. you. Henry. Henry, nice to see you. Uh, first of all, Jessica, what was your job? I was hired as a food runner. Sammy told me that he didn't like people who went to culinary school because he didn't think that we knew anything. And when I started, I was only allowed to pour water glasses and set them at the table. So I worked up front for a few months and basically wow. had to beg my way back into the kitchen. Unbelievable. And Henry. I was a buster <laughs> for the most part. How long ago were you there? A little over a month. And what kind of things did you see in the dining room? He was always in a bad mood, no matter what. Like, I've, I've never seen him in, like, a good mood. He can't take complaints in, like, a, a professional manner, which is the worst part. He made me wash his car one day. What? That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever done for him. They were always yelling at each other. In the year and a half I was there, I saw at least 50 people come and go. 50? They were oh, in and out that. so yeah. fast. Wow. What happens when customers complain about their food? They get told that they're wrong, that, you know, no, we have the best food in the country. You're wrong. Like, there have been times people have gotten salmon that's raw, and they'll send it back saying, you know, can you cook this a little more? And they're like, you don't know how to eat food. You don't know oh what you're God. doing. This is perfect. You just, wow. you obviously don't know. Customers always wrong there. That is insane. It's just that they don't really know how to manage a restaurant. I don't know what it is, but they both think that, like, the whole world is out to get them. Listen, I appreciate the feedback. Yeah, uh, no problem. You've been very helpful, and I appreciate the honest truth. Absolutely. Uh, wish me good luck. I need yeah, it. Yeah, good luck Absolutely. with Absolutely, good luck. <laughs> Hope we can help them. Thank you. Wow. It gets worse. Morning. Good morning. Morning, Sammy. Today is a new day. Yeah, I hope so. You don't look very happy. Yeah. 
I'm exhausted. Right. It's all, yeah. I've never had uh, this experience like this. It's a disaster. Okay. I've never had an experience like this either. We want to clarify a few things. Please, should we sit down? So there's no animosity, Let's of sit course. Sit down. Yes. Let's clarify a few things. What would you like to clarify? What I have a problem with were the comments you were saying to me last night while I was trying to focus on the food. Let's look at one thing at a time and be sure. open and honest. Okay. That's okay. Fine. Because for me, this was about uncovering the truth. When I'm told that the ravioli's are freshly made. I didn't and, tell you no, that. Can I finish? Sorry, when your husband told me that the ravioli's were fresh, I ordered them. And the ravioli's were disgusting and not fresh. And if you're gonna try and continue to pull wool over customers' eyes by sending them fake, fresh made raviolis, they need to know. I don't I that never say sends that my alarm much. bells I'm going. Just speak a minute. Now you may want to sit there and argue. Mm -hmm. But you're not prepared to understand that I'm here to show you what's right, and you can't take that. I can. I'm ready for that. I have no problems with the food. I told you about the burger. You refused to listen. I did not. I Every asked you I what you was wrong with it. You come back with an excuse. I kept after asking excuse, you what's wrong, and you excuse. couldn't give me I told you. The bun for the beef burger was soggy as anything. I have never had a problem with that hamburger, ever. You said the salmon burger was dry, but it was wet. Is it dry or is it wet? Which one is it? One I'm so at a time. Confused. No, you, you're confused. I'm not confused when we're talking about food. But the way you screamed at that young girl last night. Would you let anybody come into your restaurant, in your kitchen, and speak to you the way that that kid spoke to me last night? Would yeah. you? Do you think we're going to let someone hold a gun to our head and we're going to give them our ass and let them do anything they want from us? All she asked mm -hmm. is. No, she are did you it with sure? an attitude, a serious attitude. She's like, are you sure? For me. Are you sure? You don't need to question me, Katie. You can go okay. home right now. No, she didn't. OK. Now okay. you're over-exaggerating again. All right. But you'll okay. blame her and you'll blame the customers. But customers were waiting for the food through your husband's mistake. But OK, we're going to forget this today. Right. We're going to start, if we continue the show, we're going to start from scratch. I want to you forget want the word me... show. This is not a show for me. No, I mean, I don't know what you this call This is it, a then. restaurant that is in crisis with a delusional owner that can't take criticism. So. I'm going to tell you as it is. I met Jessica and Henry this morning, and I got told some awful things. Like what? The way you treat staff. They have to clean cars in the middle of service because the boss wants his car cleaned. And then witnessing over 50 staff being fired in that short period of time. Really? 50 staff? 50 staff. You're saying that I have fired 50 staff since Jessica Both of you. was here. You're saying that? I am. Can you prove that to me? Here we 50 go again. staff? Look at your eyes. Look oh, how, that's look because how, you're look saying lies. Look how lies. bitter you are. Have you not had a turnover of more than 50 people? This she, is... she was wrong. 100 or even more than 100. Wow. Yeah, not only 50, so yeah, the 100. The stats are actually worse than yeah. she told me. Yes, it's worse, yes. Could you tell your wife that? Because I don't no, no, think yes, she it knows. Is. It is. I need a drink of water, excuse yes, me. Water. You're going to run off again? On, Yesterday, I didn't even eat, drink, on, eat or okay. drink, and I have to drink water. Jesus Christ, are you going to attack me for wanting to fucking drink some water, too? My God. I don't even know why we came back here. I'm going home. This morning, Chef Ramsay arrived with a plan on how to turn around the restaurant. But the owners wanted to clear up a few matters. Now, you may want to sit there and argue. But you're not prepared to understand that I'm here to show you what's right. Unfortunately, they are still not prepared to listen to what Chef Ramsay has to say. Excuse me, I need water. water. Again? I have yesterday water. I didn't even eat, drink, eat or here. drink, and I have to drink water. Jesus Christ, are you going to attack me for wanting to fucking drink some water too? My God, I don't even know why we came back here. I'm going home. Now you're going home? This is such bullshit. Nobody even fucking is listening to me. Fucking, they're going to go by Jessica? This. Unbelievable, these people are incredible. And I've had enough and come here to be abused. My own restaurant. I want to go home. Just cool down, I mean, I All we've done, nervous. all that's happened is we have been attacked. Attacked? Attacked. Why are you Gordon? behaving like because this? Because I'm insulted. You verbally insulted me yesterday, and I held my I tongue out truth. of class. I didn't tell you the truth. I didn't Why say nasty to... things to you. Really? OK, really, I didn't, really. When I no. told you about the burger, you refused to listen. You don't understand. You're judging me on you coming in here, disrupting the entire service. I've been doing this. Disrupting? You did disrupt us last night. How could I focus when you're on my food? What about my lunch? Food, when you're standing here what and talking to my husband. What about when you cooked for me? What about when I cooked for you? Who disrupted you then? Everybody. What are you talking about? Blaming everybody again. 
I do my best so our business doesn't close because we can't find qualified people. You go get Miranda and that little Katie and Jessica. Bring them here the and reason, let me see how they, they work. Will again. you do that? Of course. They're, oh. Do you know what? They're scared of you. They're scared. And they're embarrassed. But unfortunately, you've convinced yourself in your little Amy's world that everything you cook, touch, send is perfect. I do not. What? I Are you, am I arguing Garlic with Garlic as well with white truffle. Well, that let me delicious. show you some. Can I show you reviews? Hundreds of reviews oh, no. that are excellent that oh, no. you didn't write that Not are from real customers. On the again. No, good reviews. Real customers that have supported us look, for look six years. Way you, look at the way you You're attacking my business attacking. and my life. This is I'm all I do is live this life every day. You're not telling me the problems. You are saying I'm delusional. I'm this, I'm, I'm this, I'm this. Can we talk about what we came here to speak about, please? Yeah, let them feed it. Yeah, I want them to You told me to be honest. I am always about honest. the problems that you've had, that you cannot talk to your wife, and the issues that she can't take criticism before yeah, that I met her. That's fine. I have no problem saying that. That's fine. Wow. I think you're too far gone. Okay, then let's end the show. You think I'm too far gone? There's no hope. Yalla, yalla. It's Christmas. Let's go home. Okay. I can't help people that can't help themselves and cannot ever take one ounce of criticism. And if you're not willing to change, I'm not gonna butt heads, argue, scream, whatever you wanna say, but this is not normal. And it's not normal for a restaurant to go through that many staff, it's not normal for a kitchen that small to have 65 items on the menu, and it's not normal for the level of animosity that you've built inside this restaurant and outside. You have the right to run the business the way you want to run your business. I have the right to do the right thing. And the right thing for me is to get out of here. Good luck. Wow. Yeah, of course that's what I wanted. Participate in this bullshit. Give me a break. Can they take this thing off me? We don't need his help. Maybe he knows that. It all has to come down. And now he's gone. He walked away. He'll go on with his life. Sammy and I will go on with our life. Well, it's finally happened. After almost 100 kitchen nightmares, I've met two owners who I could not help. And it wasn't because I didn't want to, it was because they are incapable of listening. And in a short period of time, they've managed to piss off the community and go through over 100 employees in one year. Sammy and Amy continue to blame everyone else, yet their biggest problem is themselves. And I know whatever changes I would have made, they were never gonna stick to them. And that's why I've decided to do something I've never done before. It's such a shame. Not always right. Don't come back, madam. I'd be happy not to see you. Guys, here. I make excellent food. You are out. Oh, don't speak like this. Go I out. am going to really care. hurt somebody. May 10th, 2013. You are both fucking nuts. <laughs> I know. Millions of viewers were introduced to Amy's Baking Company. You motherfuckers, you all think that you can come in here and say these things. Oh my god. What they witnessed. Don't fuck with me. Yeah, I will fuck with you. Yeah. Who the fuck you think you are? Was a Kitchen Nightmares episode unlike any other. You fuck yourself! Go! No. You out! A restaurant and owner so deep in denial. If anyone tell me that my wife's food is no good, I just tell him to leave the restaurant. You little weenie, yeah. keep walking. And you... so resistant to change. These are store-bought crap frozen ravioli. They're not crap, and they're delicious. Oh. That Chef Ramsay did something. I think you're too far gone. He has never done before. The right thing for me is to get out of it. He walked out. Wow. And as shocking as that was, what followed was equally as shocking. Hundreds of people are turning to social media to voice their anger. In the aftermath of the airing, social media went crazy. There were threats, nasty online messages. People just could not believe how this couple treated their customers. Millions were blogging, commenting. Basically calling them batshit crazy. Watching and re-watching. Everyone was under the consensus that these people were not particularly normal. There were skits. Oh, God! And even cartoons. I have issues with customers 
customers that are online bullies. Made about Amy's Baking Company. It's getting a little beyond hilarious. And to go along with that, a media firestorm. Amy's Baking Company. No soup for you! <laughs> <laughs> Never before has there been a kitchen nightmares quite like this. It was like watching a train wreck. They were just that crazy. <laughs> Tonight, a special edition of Kitchen Nightmares. How are you? Kitchen Nightmares. Yes. Where you will be shocked. Are we being punked? Amazed. You can pull the wool over your husband's eyes, but you can't do it to me. I want you to just shut up. And informed. He just said, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. As Gordon Ramsay takes you back. Send him home! And reveals unbelievable, never-before-seen footage. I'm not afraid of you. You're afraid of the truth, not me. The truth. The sad thing is, you don't fucking know the truth. You'll see the highlights of some of the public's wild reaction. It was just the craziest thing. You'll also find out what happened to Amy's Baking Company in the last year. They're trying to cash in on their notoriety. And you will get to hear from Sammy and Amy themselves. It's like Disneyland for the crazies. In a special exclusive interview. My wife's food is excellent. That's all coming your way tonight on a special edition of Kitchen Nightmares. We have to show the world what we really have to offer here at Amy's Baking Company. What is that? He's serving rotten fruit. They're not crap, and they're delicious. Then wake up! You wake up! <laughs> Shut the place down! Get out of here! That is amazing! That's embarrassing! Thank you so much. Good evening, and welcome to a very special edition of Kitchen Nightmares. Last year, something happened that shocked me and millions of you when I tried to help a restaurant in Scottsdale, Arizona. I was forced to do something I'd never done, walk away. I went to Amy's Baking Company to help, but the owners were incapable of listening. There was such a strong reaction to the episode that we decided to give you an update on what has happened since. We'll also show you some footage that has never been seen before, and we'll hear from Amy and Sammy themselves. But first, a brief reminder of my wild journey at Amy's Baking Company. It was my first time in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I was really looking forward to helping the husband and wife team of Sammy and Amy with their restaurant, Amy's Baking Company. Just give me the per salad, darling, if you can. All right, all right. Since 2007, Amy had run the kitchen. Hey, I understand this whole substitution thing. And Sammy was in charge of the front of house. For C. The owners felt that their food wasn't even an issue. If anyone tell me that my wife's food is no good, I just tell them to leave the restaurant. They were looking for validation from me that everything they were doing was right. Chef Ramsay is coming to tell the people how the food is good here. In the past, they had an ongoing war with online bloggers and customers who were writing negative reviews. These reviewers and these bloggers decided to make up lies and say that they ate the food and it was disgusting. Amy and Sammy felt that they were under attack, and that was the main reason why their business was in trouble. The customer is not always right. Before I arrived, the cameras were there to document dinner service at Amy's Baking Company. Can you make me per salad instead of that Caesar? Seriously? Many of the diners were so frustrated because of the long wait times. Never waited this long for a pizza. While the ones that did have food this really just isn't good. were truly disappointed with what they were getting. I'll take it. But during the course of the evening, Sammy and Amy had a really hard time dealing with any negativity from customers. Two pieces not cooked enough. Put it again in the, in the, in the oven. Sure, I'll burn it. It became clear that this restaurant what is the problem with it? The customer isn't always right. The egg is... OK, yeah. if you came to eat to enjoy, then you should know what you like to eat, sir. And there was one particular situation that my crew has never witnessed in the seven years of doing Kitchen Nightmares. We were waiting on one pizza. It's coming now, it's coming now, now. You keep saying that. You've been saying that for an hour. Look at him, he's like, where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Send him home! You want to wait, you wait. You don't want to pay what did you have, and you fuck off from here. Do you understand? Sammy? Go out, you motherfucker! Are you kidding me? No, you no, are! Get don't out of speak here. like this! Go out! Are you no. fucking kidding me? You play in door! Stop! 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 Are they for real? You pay. You don't go out. You, if you touch I fucking, you can call me help, I told you. You go. Fuck you! Fuck you! No, I'm kidding, I'm fuck you! No kidding, I'm fuck you! Take the money. No, I want the money from him. I am calling the police. You guys are fucking No, crazy. he's just calling the police. I know, but he, you're not touching him. Get away. You motherfucker. You're a little pansy. Get Amy. out of here. Don't yeah. come back here. You little weenie. Yeah. Keep walking. Fuck you. Give me a break. My team gave me little detail, but told me 
that it was a rough night at the restaurant. This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this before. But as always, I wanted to form my own opinions. When I arrived, I was pleasantly surprised at the nice decor, how clean the kitchen was, and how well organized everything seemed to be. Is this a joke? I mean, look, dates, labels, yes, sectioned off. I even sampled a pretty good dessert. That's lovely. Little did I know, at that time, this wasn't going to be a piece of cake. If all your food is as good as this dessert, trust me, there's something not quite right here. During my lunch, things started to unravel. First, I was shocked to learn my waitress, Miranda, didn't make any tips. So where do the tips go? The owner. What? Yeah. I can't believe that. I know. I try to tell him. <laughs> Wow. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Sammy. You spoke earlier about the problem with staff. Yeah, I just found out something pretty major. Miranda, the young girl? Yeah. You don't give her her tips? No. Sammy, yeah. you cannot take server's tips. Then bring me the people who's going to do their job, and I don't have to interfere. They can take the whole tips for them. Did you see? I already took three orders by myself and sent them already to the... You're the owner. I'm doing the most of the job. I was totally appalled. Oh. Then I waited forever for my food. I'm going to start eating my ticket. I know you've been waiting. When it finally arrived, it's just a mess. It was a major disappointment. Do you want me to take that? Please, okay. because it is like eating dry cat food. And even though I let Sammy know the major problems with the food, I feel it's raw, it's doughy. He chose not to pass anything on to Amy. What's wrong? Nothing. According to Sammy, his wife had an issue with criticism. I know my wife, she's, she'll get nervous. She's scared of telling her the truth. Do you want to tell her? Come with me, you tell her. I just wanted to know, so she chose okay, the next She will know, yes, yeah, she will know. Right. Anyway, I am 75 minutes in, and so far, I've had an undercooked pizza. Oh, OK. I'm going to tell her you're starving. I'm oh. going to tell her you are starving. OK. She'll move, OK? She'll move. She, I hope oh. so. But hours later, at the start of dinner service, Amy was complaining that she had not received any feedback from what I experienced at lunch. So I decided to tell her the brutal truth. These are store-bought crap frozen ravioli. They're not crap, and they're delicious. And I, the oh. first time I've ever, oh okay. My God. Did you taste it? You didn't taste that one. I can't because you didn't get the feedback. I said they were disgusting. But right from the start, she didn't consider anything I was saying as constructive. I've never had a problem oh with it. Oh, my God. I tried again and again to point out the issues. The bun for the beef burger was soggy as anything. I have never had a problem with that hamburger, ever. But everything was either deflected... That was dry. It's good like that. ...or ignored. There's no point in me saying anything to you because you just say, well, it's good like that. Whatever. I felt so frustrated. At this point, I went into the dining room and hit another wall. When I tried to confront Sammy about the tips. Do you think the girls deserve some tips tonight? No, they get hourly. Sir, the tip that you left, the young lady server, the owner takes the tips. That's horrible. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't no, fuck no, no. with me. Yeah, I will fuck with you. Yeah. Who the fuck you think you are? Complete bullshit. That night, once again, there were a number of issues with the food, and there were long wait times as well. Are we used to waiting on something? Is yeah. It, what is it that you're waiting on? Pasta. Just yeah. spicy pasta. The pasta, pasta recipe? Yes. Is that coming? Then, towards the end of service, a food runner named Katie asked Amy a question. 4B. No, no, 5B. Are you sure? And Amy lost it. You don't need to question me, Katie. You can go okay. home right now. Katie! Listen to me when I'm speaking to you. Do not walk away from me. You don't work here anymore, OK? Don't start crying. Don't why, cry. why are you no, behaving please, like this? No, no, oh, my no, no, God. Please, come on, come on. Since no, I'm talking, I was running away from you. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. You had an attitude for me all night long, Katie. Don't worry, don't worry. Please. Okay. I quit. No, you're not. I quit. You're not. She you're is not. quitting. She has an attitude. After a really bizarre dinner service, I tried again to have a meaningful conversation with Amy. It's become evidence that you can't take criticism. But Amy remained in denial. What I do normally is good. Refusing to listen to anything I had to say. Then your freezer is store-bought shit raviolis. The sauce is delicious. The raviolis, we think that they're very good. Even after a frustrating day, I remained committed to helping the restaurant. So the next morning, I came in with a plan to turn Amy's baking company around. Oh, come on. But they weren't there. So 
I spent the morning talking with disgruntled past employees. In the year and a half I was there, I saw at least 50 people come and go. It's... 50? They were in and out so yeah. fast. Wow. What happens when customers complain about their food? They get told that they're wrong, that, you know, no, we have the best food in the country. You're wrong. When Amy and Sammy finally arrived, you don't look very happy. Yeah. I'm exhausted. I wanted to confront them with the information I had learned. Have you not had a turnover of more than 50 people? 50 staff. Can you prove that to me? She, she was wrong. 100 or even more than 100. And after a very tense conversation in which we were going around in circles... What I have a problem with were the comments you were saying to me last night. I'm here to show you what's right, and you can't take that. I realised that Sammy and Amy were not open even in the slightest, to making any changes. All that's happened is we have been attacked. Attacked? Attacked! I mean, I don't know what you this call it. This is a restaurant that is in a crisis with a delusional owner that can't take criticism. So, for the very first time, I did something I never thought I would do. I can't help people. They can't help themselves. And the right thing for me is to get out of here. Good luck. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Participate in this bullshit. Wow. Coming up. The story just went viral. They became the number one trending story in America. There were threats, nasty online messages. Find out how it happened. Everyone was under the consensus that these people were not particularly normal. And we'll show you some never before seen footage of Amy and Sammy with Chef Ramsay that you have to see to believe. You can pull the wool over your husband's eyes, but you can't do it to me. I want you to just shut up. Then. How are you? It's your nightmare. Yes. A full update on what has happened to Amy's baking company. Sammy saw that I had taken a $5 tip and told me that I'm a thief and get out of his restaurant. And later, it's wild. Are we being punked? It's loud. He has no box. These generals of my box. It's an exclusive interview with Amy and Sammy. It's like Disneyland for the crazies. As we track them down in Scottsdale, Arizona. We have to show the world what we really have to offer here at Amy's Big Company. <laughs> Since the airing of Amy's Baking Company, people were very anxious to express their views in a variety of ways on the internet. One of the things that got a lot of attention was this cartoon made by the Jackson Moto Company. He is my soulmate, and we're in this business together. Fine. And we stand strong. We have to because there's a lot of online bullies and haters and bloggers. They're dirty. They're lazy. I have issues with customers that are online bullies. And they bully me, bully my husband. That's a joke. Online bullies. They're used to eating processed wood chips or used to getting things for free. It's disgusting. But when did this start? This guy came in that started this entire online online bullying. I told him I thought he was a loser, he was a moron. Do you have children? Well, we have three little boys, but they're trapped inside well, cat bodies. You look disappointed. These are store-bought crap frozen ravioli. They're not crap, and they're delicious, and I, the oh, first time I've ever cooked. Oh my Did God. you taste it? You didn't taste that one. This is, you guys, I make excellent food. <laughs> you all think that you can come in here and say these things. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I speak feline. Meow, meow, meow. That cartoon was just one example of the media explosion that occurred after the airing of Amy's Baking Company. But there was a lot more as this 50-seater restaurant went from obscurity to a national phenomenon and became the number one trending story on the internet. So there's this restaurant called Amy's Baking the Company. The owners are nuts. This was the first time in the history of the show he decided this place was beyond hell. Gordon Ramsay even is like, I'm out People of here. just could not believe how this couple treated their and they customers. they going and going with the same stuff over right. and over. Hundreds of people are turning to social media to voice their Sammy anger. Sammy and Amy, they're on That's Facebook crazy. now, just trashing everybody. It got uglier and uglier for there. There were threats, nasty online These messages. Freaking crazy. This is what you don't yeah. ever do. I'm actually not. A lot of action on social media. Memes and jokes oh and photoshops. Gifts. Worldwide backlash. Unbelievable to see all of it bubble up online. Wow. It was so crazy. The episode of Kitchen Nightmares about Amy's Baking Company was a pretty special one because it was the first time Gordon Ramsay walked away from a restaurant. Wow. 
which is something he never does. And it definitely sparked a curiosity. People were incredibly interested in this story. There were thousands of comments directed at Amy and Sammy, basically calling them batshit crazy. Everyone was under the consensus that these people were not particularly normal. The problem was Amy and Sammy started responding to these comments. As the comments started pouring in, Amy and Sammy just kept posting and posting and posting. They just attacked everybody and just posted status after status, just swearing, calling people out on everything, and just continuing their cyberbullying, what they do best, I guess. <laughs> we just sort of kept watching them in a mixture of shock and horror. You just want to tell these people, no, don't, don't do that. That's a bad idea and the story just went viral. People were sharing all different types of content from satirical cartoons. Think that you can come in here and say these things. To YouTube videos. Meow, 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 meow. Clips, GIFs. Just type in Amy's and everything would come up related to Amy's Baking Company. Just pages and pages. My write-up of Amy's Baking Company's Meltdown. In about three days, it had reached three million views, which is the highest traffic post I've ever done at BuzzFeed. It became the 21st century version of a water cooler conversation. Everyone thought it was just the craziest thing. It was like covering a breaking news story, except instead of politics, we were following this little eatery in Arizona. Honestly, I've never seen something like this before. They were just that crazy. After the dust cleared, Amy and Sammy took to their Facebook and said that it was hacked and that all of the statements that came previously weren't them. And it was met with this really hilarious, are you kidding me, collectively from the internet? No, clearly you weren't hacked at all. I saw the way that they treated people and what they said on Facebook is exactly how they acted in real life. There is the phrase, no publicity is bad publicity, but at the same time, if you're not careful, the internet can turn you into a sideshow. And I think that's exactly what happened here. The aftermath of the episode certainly took on a life of its own. I remember when I first walked in to Amy's Baking Company thinking, hmm, why am I here? The dining room is gorgeous. The kitchen is spotless, something I'm definitely not used to on Kitchen Nightmares. But when Amy gave me a tour of her kitchen, things started getting a little strange. Now, this footage has never been seen before. Take a look. So are you the sous chef? Yes. You can see. I'll take you through our line. Um, do we have any uh, male chefs? Do, do no. No? All no. females? Yes. No, only girls. Why, why is that? Yes. Because it's too, it's tiny, too tiny in my work. She wants only me to be near her. <laughs> she doesn't want men to you know. I don't like to bump into men. I feel we're comfortable working with girls because my kitchen is so tiny. Wow. So we bend over, we bump into I mean, each other. The male chefs, their ego is too big and there's it's too little in my kitchen, so they leave. I show them the door. And they don't have my standards. They can't right. clean like I do. There, It's like they're doing me a favor. This is how we work. I mean, yeah. I work meticulously because my customers okay. deserve it. Wow. Coming up. Oh, God, you're crazy. Wow, some shocking bonus material that has never been seen until tonight. If they could work like my husband works, they would get their tips. He stole them. Can you make a change? Make a change. And later, an update on what has happened at Amy's Baking Company since Chef Ramsay walked out. Now it's like a tourist site. Everybody wants to see if Amy was actually that crazy. Plus, our revealing exclusive interview with Sammy and Amy. It's like Disneyland for the crazies. have three little boys, but they're trapped inside kitty cat's bodies. Meow! <laughs> Zeta does it like this. Meow! And sometimes he sticks his tongue out if he wants treats. No. <laughs> Jade, if you, if you ask him a question, you say, Jade, he'll actually respond. Meow! He responds like that. And Leo, he actually talks. Leo will sing to you. Meow, meow, meow. Later, we'll be heading out to Arizona, where our reporter, Anna Garcia, catches up with Sammy and Amy. But first, let me tell you about some more never-before-seen footage. During my lunch at Amy's Baking Company, I kept telling Sammy what was wrong with the food, but he refused to tell Amy. I remember thinking, how strange was that, that he wouldn't relate anything to his wife? But when I came back for dinner service, I learned why Sammy never shares any negative comments with Amy, because she is completely incapable of taking criticism. When was the last time you took criticism from a customer about one of your dishes? Um, the other day I did. What I was it? A, it was a Caesar salad. The lady didn't like the prosciutto in her Caesar salad, but it's on the menu, and if they don't like it, they can have it without it. 
simple. I mean, wow. I, I've oh taken criticism. God. Do you know what? Criticism is healthy. Unfortunately, not enough people told you the truth. Oh, God, you're crazy. No, there you go. I Phenomenal I dessert, crazy. store bought frozen ravioli, yet you still don't get it. If I could make everything from scratch, I would. And you can pull the wool over your husband's eyes, but you can't do it to me. Oh, my God. You're not even crazy. prepared to listen to anything. That's because you're not giving me any Advice. constructive criticism. Advice. You're just I'm standing here. For. Talking, You're just saying in things that denial. aren't even making sense. I'm not in denial about anything. I've never had an issue before. Because your husband doesn't tell you. No, because I know. He's scared when, to. He's not scared of me. No, that man isn't scared of you. He's not scared of anybody. My husband, if there ever is a problem, immediately he'll bring it back and let Christine and Bullshit. I know. And it's very rare that Did it happens. You today. You knew I was coming today. Well, I was trying. If you were coming to my restaurant, today, I'd make sure every fucking plate that you finish is in front of me. I was trying to get feedback, and no one would give it to me. Why not? I gave your husband you a number of comments. Yeah, lunchtime. But I didn't know. Nobody would share Don't them like with me. knowing. You don't want I to change. Know. There is something I want to clear up. They asked me to come and help them. Right now, I want to show you something that has only ever been seen by myself and the producers of the show. It's their submission video. Oh boy, check it out. So this is where all the magic happens. <laughs> Here we have the walk-in. Oh my God, it's a mess. The biggest problems with this restaurant would be my husband is too nervous in the front of the house. He doesn't really have a customer service background in any way, shape, or form. I'm chicken like no head. You go, I go, I don't know where to start. Sammy needs to be removed from this situation. A lot of times I think the customers will probably not come back because of something that Sammy may have said to them. Like, first reaction is just to kind of yell. Yes, there have been a few occasional times that he has had an incident, and I myself have had an inf a few incidents with customers. We're not perfect, but when people come in and they're not nice to us, we're not going to be nice back to them. <laughs> On Yelp, horrible things were written about us that were not true. I retaliated and I told him what I thought about him. I told him that he was a loser and he was a moron. He was a tramp and he wasn't welcome in my restaurant and he's not. I have no problem standing up for myself. Are you, can you film him? Do you see him? Can, they, we can... We had to stop because you were talking. That's okay. This is the first kitchen I've ever worked in where we're not really allowed to talk to each other. Stop talking, everyone, stop. Get out, no talking. I'm out here all by myself, screaming, screaming. The smallest thing can happen, it's like the end of the world. And then they just kind of feed off of each other. In order for my restaurant to be open, we both have to be here, 100%. This is our baby. Hold on a second, hold on. I'm getting extremely nervous right now because I have so many things going on back here and I can't remember the questions you're asking because as soon as you ask me, I'm losing it. If you don't come in and spend $100 at least, it's like, mm -hmm. I don't need you. Spectacular, my food is the best, I'm telling you. Love you, <laughs> you're nice. He's crazy, he's, he's insane. <laughs> Coming up. I don't want you to kiss my ass, I want you to just shut up. The madness continues. I'm not afraid of you. Please. You're afraid of the truth, not me. The truth. You'll get a full update on what has happened to Amy's baking company. They're trying to cash in on their notoriety. You'll hear from former employees. Amy and Sammy thought everyone was out to get them. And what recent diners have to say. He just said, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. Then it's time for an out of control sit down with Sammy and Amy. He has no balls. He's jealous of my balls, yes, motherfucker. This is what he is. But first, some never before seen footage as Chef Ramsay questions Amy about her pizza. And what's the base of the uh, dough? The recipe for my pizza dough? Mm -hmm. It's a secret. Oh, okay, wow. And people love it. I have people tell me it's the best pizza that they've ever had wow. in their life. My husband will tell me, or customers. Well, he's, he, he, he's fucking naughty, because my pizza today was undercooked. So it was raw, and I said, will you take that back? He said, I can't daughter in service. Why is that? Uh, maybe he knew that it would make me nervous if you didn't enjoy well, the pizza. You're a husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as if you're sort of manager and assistant manager. Okay. The quicker you go back to the kitchen with criticism... Yeah, we I usually know. don't have criticism, that's that. the problem. You don't and, have criticism. Not usually, Why no. can't you go and tell your wife? Because I, I know my pizza, wife. Pizza, fucking wake up, is undercooked. I don't think your pizza was undercooked. I checked it and I sent pizzas. That's my number one selling pizza. So you did bring people. it back? No, no I didn't uh, find out and I asked you what was I wrong. You just said you checked it. No, I checked it when I took it out of the... Hold on, if you oh. let me. I checked it when I took it out of the oven, just like I do every other pizza, and to me, it was crispy on the bottom. When I cut it, right. it was crunchy. Okay. So to me, it wasn't okay. wrong. So, but yeah, let's draw a line in that. Back. That's your version, because you sure. didn't see it come back. 
My version right. was the dough was wet, uh -huh. undercooked in the centre. Okay. Okay. And around the outside, there was insufficient garnish, so it's just dry. I showed it to you. Yeah, yeah, you did. You and did the idea. Course. Come on. I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I didn't want to tell yeah. it. No, it's okay. No. No. no I, I said to touch that. It's not. I did touch slightly. It. Thirty yeah. seconds. It was soaking wet. Okay. It was wet. Wet. No, well, the raw. cheese or something. No, 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 no not the cheese. No. How can you attract good staff when you don't give them the tips they deserve? My husband pays those girls $9 or $10 an hour You're not to listening. do nothing, You're not listening. OK? They don't deserve those tips. If they could work like my oh husband my worked, God. if they could work like my husband works, and it didn't require him to run like four me? people, they would get their tips. He's told them, You're run like I run and work like How I work deluded. and you can have your tips. I am deluded. You're right. Oh my there are so many moments at this restaurant, but truthfully, there's only so much you can put into a one-hour show. Here's an unbelievable exchange that I had with Amy over a package of gnocchi. Cindy's so gnocchi in here. No refrigeration required. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There must be a few chemicals in there. Do we sell these, Nurse? I'm sorry? Do we sell these? Yes, those are the gnocchi that we sell. And no refrigeration required. What's in them? Look at the back, it'll tell you. I don't say that they're organic. I never did. What's in there? He said, look on the back, like some fucking smart ass answer. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're prepared to charge customers money for that. Whatever. And you get upset because they're not kissing I'm your not ass. I'm not upset with you. I wow. don't want you to kiss my yeah. ass. I want you to just shut up and yeah. give me wow. a chance to finish my sentence instead of wow, being rude. Wow, wow, wow. That's, I'm I've not pissed off because you don't bother me to make me pissed off. I've seen it all. Well, we're making everything for order. This is, you know, it's. Not pre-made. We don't have pre-made food. We're trying to make Except everything. Except for the raviolis. Order. Yes, the raviolis are pre-made. And the we, frozen eggplant. Yes, they are. It's fresh, of course. We have to freeze it when we drop it in the fryer so the breading doesn't come off. We do it like and that the because I do use those gnocchi. Yes. No pithy reply. Yes, I care a lot. Chef MZ, I would like you to understand just something. Yeah, I'm finding it right now. I want It's difficult to understand you one little bit. I've got nowhere to go. Every time I say something to you, you just no. say, hey, my customers love it. I'm not going to talk to you right now because I have to concentrate well, then, on the then line. Stop. Concentrate then. I will. You're the one who just said you want to talk to me. I so did. I wanted to explain to you oh. that I'm not here to say. You, you don't even let me speak, so there's no point in talking to you. Try. Just like my husband. Even though my visit to Amy's Baking Company was a complete disaster from day one, I came back on day two with a plan to turn it around. Unfortunately, I never got to implement it because it became clear that it would be a waste of time. I'm sure you're wondering what's happened to the restaurant since I left. Here with an update is our reporter, Anna Garcia. Thanks, Gordon. I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona, talking to local people to get their perspective on everything that's happened since the show aired. Everything from the social media phenomenon to how it has affected local businesses. And I'm going to try and talk to Amy and Sammy. But first, here's an update on how the restaurant is doing. Good luck. Thank you. After Chef Ramsay left, it was just a dramatic mess. No, Amy, no! I'm not, I'm not yes. Amy and Sammy thought everyone was out to get them. Attitude I've never seen in my life. They fired everyone, told everyone to can do everything on their own. The next day I was called and Amy and Sammy begged for me to come back, so I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Sammy and Amy saw that I had taken a $5 tip from my customer and had a huge fit over it and told me that I'm a thief and get out of his restaurant. And I threw the money at them and I walked out and told them, don't ever talk to me again. I'm done with this place. A lot of my friends have actually gone there just to check it out because now it's like a tourist site. Everybody wants to see if Amy was actually that crazy. We honestly went in with Let's see if the food is really as people say. One of our friends ordered a drink, got it, noticed that there was something floating in the drink. It had three fruit flies in it. We called Sammy over and he got really upset and he said there are no flies. He never even acknowledged that there was anything wrong. I said to him, we didn't bring flies in our pockets with us. And he just said, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go. We thought they would kind of wanting to be, you know, pleasing everybody and wanting to have the customers. And 
you know, but they were exactly like we thought they were. They're trying to cash in on their notoriety. If you go to their website, they're selling t-shirts that are printed with lines from the show. It's not a classy move, but becoming a tourist attraction where they basically make fun of themselves, I think is the only way for them to survive. It's definitely turned into a spectacle that if you're in the area, you just have to see what it's all about. Coming up. It's like Disneyland for the crazies. It's loud. He can't keep his menu. It's intense. We don't go down without a fight. It's surprising. Are we being pumped? It's our exclusive interview with Sammy and Amy. I see all the crazy. You will hear it all. My wife's food is excellent. Raw and uncensored. He was a pale-faced pansy-ass willow. When our reporter, Anna Garcia. Have you changed your policy on the temps? Pays a visit to Amy's Baking Company. I'm not going to stop. How, then I will be a pansy and I'm not a pansy. She doesn't like to take the criticize, she likes to take the compliment. She can't take criticism. She cannot take criticism. Have you noticed, when she talks, she can't stop because she won't listen. So she'll continue pounding her own voice rather than actually listen to criticism. But when it's a compliment, yeah. oh my god, that's amazing, my dessert's amazing. No. But then when it's criticism, yeah, it's so what I'm money. asking, why is that? Uh, ask her that question. Ask her? I have the same problem for that. She cannot listen to criticism, but she okay, good. she's good. going to listen to it. Thank you. To she's good. going to. Yes. But she's not listening. Yeah. Just blank there. Do you know why? She's not listening. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Right. I have right. that problem well, thank for you. Ten okay. Years. Okay? Can you make a change? Make a change. So far, we've shown you some incredible unseen footage and brought you up to date on what's happened since this episode aired. But now, it's time to hear from the owners themselves. Here is our reporter, Anna Garcia, with Amy and Sammy. Amy, just sit down. Just, no, don't worry, don't worry. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Anna Garcia from Kitchen Nightmares. How are you? Kitchen Nightmares? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Can we can, can we come in and talk? Yes, you can come Thank in. you so much. Thank Please you. Come in, I appreciate it. Yeah. May I introduce myself? Hi, Anna Garcia from Kitchen Nightmares. Very nice to meet Hi. you. We want to catch up with you and Sammy. Do you have a few minutes for us? Uh, Some no. money you come what, to talk to me. I'd love to talk with you. No, you talk to me and I want money because this time from Kitchen Nightmares, I want money. You want? You guys did make so much money because of us and Gordon Ramsay tried to bury me alive. Who he wants, I will bury him first. I will bury him first and bury your Kitchen Nightmare also because you did it on purpose, you set me up. And this is what you did, you tried to bury us alive, alive. And you didn't do yet, and I wouldn't let nobody to do it. Well, will you sit down and talk with us, Sammy, yes, about please. what happened and everything down. that's happened? No. Gordon Ramsay to fuck himself because he was not fair. He was not fair. How was he not fair, he Sammy? He was not fair because he shouldn't... It's okay, then, yeah. Because he shouldn't represent us that way. I'm going to go against Fox, against Gordon Ramsay, Kitchen Nightmare. Let me show you something. It's disgusting. So I posted, I took a screen, Sammy. Who is he? He has no balls. He's jealous of my balls, yes, motherfucker. Definitely. This is what he is. We were made to look like the most psychotic, lunatic people in the universe. And after watching Kitchen Nightmares, I see all the crazy. But I don't see any of the good. I know the people that came here were Yelpers because I have proof of it. They were on Yelp talking about it after they were filming and before they were coming here. This is not stuff that I've invented. I'm not delusional. I'm not crazy. Yes, we are passionate. Yes, we are wild. If I came after you, you would probably stand up too. If I came after anybody else, you would defend yourself, wouldn't you? If you have a family, wouldn't you defend it? Has it been stressful? Stressful, yes, it's been very stressful. We've had people walk through my doors, come casually over here like this, walk over, look at the display case, keep going like this, and then leave. And then my waitress comes up to me. Now we have waitresses because we had to change our whole procedure because the whole universe thought my husband was stealing the tips. So we tried something new. I took all of the negative things that Gordon Ramsay said and I tried to improve on it. That's why I had him come here. People come here to try to set us up because they think it's funny because they have a hard on for Gordon Ramsay. There was one person, he left on this plate, and I have it in my office, and I have the surveillance camera proof of it. He puts a giant rubber cockroach on the plate and left it there, left without buying a cake and thought that that was funny. We are dealing with that daily. It's not gonna work here. We stood up to Gordon Ramsay, we're gonna stand up to the world, because we don't go down without a fight. We have to show the world and every single business owner out there that you have to stand up. You cannot let anyone shake you down. We have a voice, he has a voice, and it's up to us to stay strong. 
and to show our true product and what we really have to offer here at Amy's Big Company. That's it. Coming up. I'm not going to stop. Just when you thought it couldn't get more intense. That to me shows me that he's a pansy. There are more shocking moments from Amy and Sammy. Now you have lit the fire inside of us. If this business were to be successful, in my opinion, you need to clone me three times. Clone Sammy three times, clone me three times, and I'll be perfect. All the Amy clones would just start like killing off each other. They'd just get so sick of each other. Like one thing another Amy said, like, you can't mix two Amy's. This doesn't go together. In a moment, I'll share with you my final thoughts on Amy's Bacon Company. But first, let's head back to Scottsdale and a reporter, Anna Garcia, who's with Sammy and Amy. How was your business affected by what happened in the episode? We are completely bombarded by the media, by customers, by haters, by trolls. We've become the number one tourist attraction for, for the summer, only it's like Disneyland for the crazies. They stand outside and take pictures just because they want to see us. When they come in, they look at us like they are real and they almost pass out. And then they sit down and they try our food mm -hmm. and they see who we are as people and they say, I can't believe it. It's amazing, your food's incredible. How did this ever happen? What's going on here? Are we being punked? But have you been busy? Because we really didn't find anyone who ever said this place was packed. Well, I'm open for business right now. Look at how, how can I have any normal business when I have this all day long? What happened with Facebook, with the allegations that you had been hacked? Every single post that was written calling people shit and making fun of them for not making money did not come from us. We didn't say those things. Now we are, because now you have lit the fire inside of us. Now when we're calling people little trolls and telling them that they have no balls, yes, that's us. Because okay. I think it takes a very special kind of person, it's called a eunuch, to be able to call someone and bully them over the phone or through the internet when you don't know who they are. Nobody make money because those trolls. Because so, Gordon Ramsay told them I'm stealing tips to the people. Can we talk about true. that? Can we talk about yeah. the tips? I was pretty surprised yeah. that the waitresses didn't keep their tips. Yeah. Why, Sammy? Because I give them hourly very high. I don't How give them high? between $8 to $14 an hour. If it's empty like this, they still go with money. If they wait for the tip, they wait like this. Have you changed your policy on the I tips? I did change. I give them tips. So is that something good that came out of the kitchen nightmares? Is that you now? No, it's not good because they work with the tip and there is nobody here, then of course they're not going to make money, then they're on way. All of this that's happened, and, you know, have you made any changes to the menu? He can John? keep his menus. Right. Well, his menu can keep it for his own restaurant. What happened to the raviolis? Also, Are the raviolis still frozen? Yes, still frozen, yes, yes still, frozen. still frozen. They're excellent, yes, they're excellent. Also, wait, yes, listen, Gordon Ramsay also, during the filming, I asked him, I said, would you let anybody come into your kitchen and give you the kind of attitude that Katie gave, gave me and not fire them? He said, yeah. That to me shows me that he's a pansy. If so, I, I stand oh, up to you somebody in my kitchen. Oh, you got for using okay. that word, Amy. The reason I said he was a pansy is because the same reason I call these Yelpers and these people that hide behind the computer screen the Camel Toe Mafia. They are pussies, they are pansies, they have no balls. Because if they had balls, they would come to my face, my husband's face, and tell us exactly all the stuff, that the lies, the slanderous stuff that they say online instead of just hiding behind their computer screen. I have said a lot of offensive things. But when a person is completely under attack, I'm sorry, I would love to be nothing but a lady and control my language and not have a severe case of Tourette's syndrome. But this is what's happened to me because of the pressure. I called that guy a pansy because he was a pale face pansy ass willow. That's exactly what I call him. Yes, I'm going to say things if someone attacks me. I'm not going to stop. How, then I will be a pansy and I'm not a pansy. There was a, a part in the episode where it showed that Sammy tries to shield you from criticism and when Gordon sent back some food. Sammy, you didn't really want to tell Amy. Because it's tell not true. Why. Because my wife's food is excellent. Everybody loves my wife's food. The reason that he didn't tell me each plate was getting sent back is because he knew that it would. Gordon Ramsay was full of shit. Sammy tells everything to me as I tell everything to Sammy. We share, we don't keep secrets from each other. He protects me, I protect him. People love us because we stand together and we are united. Yes, he and I will fight to the death for each other. No doubt, you come and you try to attack us, I'm going to be like a fierce lion. I'm gonna attack anybody that's coming to try to hurt my husband or my business. It has affected your business. Are you yes. seeing the customers come back? No, did, did something, different, different is there... people, you know, different people, they, they come, they, they are very happy. Surprise, surprise what Gordon Ramsay say. I have enough money to keep my business as long till the stupid people become smart. 
and then they come again to us, and they will. We are not the ones Gordon Ramsay represent us. Yeah. We are not at all. We are not a villain or gangster or what. I am reformed, and I, I, I give up long but ago. But you did he's say, you did say, yes. uh, you did say to yeah, Gordon, I show them. I'm a gangster. Well, I mean, I you did say, say it that. Again. <laughs> I will say it again if somebody, because I am the one who can go on top of him. He cannot go on top of me. I can promise you. Not him and not all his people. I can promise but you. But you did say that, Sam. I did say it, and I will say it again if I have to. Okay. I will say it. Myself, I would like people to understand that first and foremost, my husband and I, we are united, and that's the most wonderful thing in my life. We are not psychotic, lunatic people that will make you wait an hour and a half for your food and then call the police on you if you don't get it. We're not going to scream at you and throw you out unless you come to attack us. If you do come and attack us, we will scream at you and we will throw you out. I think like 95% of the things that are being said about us, we sit and we laugh our butts off about it because it's hysterical. Do you have a message for Gordon Ramsay? Mr. Ramsay, for all the respect that I had for you, I ask you now to really put the truth and really give us a chance. Really give us a chance. Who is small it to give you a owned, chance? Because he tried to destroy us. Well, he, he has control not, of these cameras. He doesn't cameras. give us a chance. Fuck he everybody. He has control over Come these on, cameras. They edited us. Well, I need him to give me a chance. Well, obviously, the whole world thinks yeah. that we're psychotic he killed you already. the way that they he edited us. He killed you already. You think he's going to come and say, no, the food is good, I was joking? Yeah, I think yeah. he should do that if he's No, he won't do that to me. Do you asking too much? He can't. Well, he's like, I he's, like he's going to say that and he's going to close his store. That's it. He's finished. I'm he's finished. He, he won't do That's that. It. He will never say the truth. Of course, he will keep it okay. the truth for himself. Saving restaurants and helping families on Kitchen Nightmares is an incredibly gratifying experience. I look forward to every challenge and I take each mission very seriously. What happened in Scottsdale was actually quite disappointing. My team and I had a fantastic plan to help Amy's Baking Company. Unfortunately, the owners had no interest in hearing it. Good night.